if you are into the world of data science and AI for some time, then I'm sure you have faced a situation like what all to learn? Every day something new comes up. What to do with all these things, right? How to learn many things? That too, with our regular jobs. That is exactly what I'm going to cover as part of this video. And the reason is I'm also in a full-time job and for creating content, I need to read and learn, okay? Without that, I can't create videos. So how do I learn the things? How do I go about it? And what are the things that help me? This video is covered in three sections. First is I'm going to tell you from my personal experience, how to build that learning muscle, okay? So guys, in the world, there are different types of jobs. Remember, our job is mind intensive, okay? What are the things that will help you to build the learning muscle? That is part one. Part two is in this flood of materials, in this sea of material, in this ocean of material, right? How do you filter what should you take forward and invest your limited time, limited resource that is time on that, right? You can't spend time on every video that is on the internet. You can't spend time on every course that is out there, right? Where to spend time? That is part two, how to filter that. And part three is, how do you define the process of learning? Practical ways from my own experience. Let's start the video, guys. This is not about machine learning concepts. Some of the very, very practical aspects of life, okay? That will be helpful to you because that is helping me. Let's start, guys. First of all, I told you how to build the learning muscle, right? So... One thing you and me have to understand is what are the things that uh, weakens the mind or what are the things that that creates a bad, uh, you know, you can say chemicals or bad impact on the mind. Few points I will cover and please try to, you know, listen this once because these are the things that is helping me. Just try to listen once and then you can take your call whether you want to follow or not follow. Okay. First of all, guys. Don't rush through your day, okay? Don't rush through your day, meaning, um, let's say if you work from home and if you log in at 9 a.m. or 10 a.m., whatever your time is, if you have to reach office at 10 a.m., do not wake up at, let's say, 8 a.m. or 8.30. What will happen is the tone of the day, right, gets disturbed when you rush through in the morning, okay? So just try to avoid rushing to the office, rushing to the work in the morning, okay? Rushing to your college. How that can be avoided? Very simple, you have to wake up little early. I'm not saying wake up at 5 a.m., 4 a.m. Wake up little early. If possible, do meditation, okay? If possible. Tons of videos, tons of material on internet where you can see how meditation helps your brain, okay? Do meditation and then start your day at a slow pace, not at a fast pace. That is point number one. Now, to, to shift my waking time to two hours before, let's say my waking time is 8 a.m. If I have to shift it two hours before, what I need to do? I need to shut down laptop, shut down Netflix. If I am watching Netflix till, let's say, 1 a.m., I need to shut down at 11 p.m. If I am watching till 12, it, it needs to shut down at 10. So, you know, all of you are intelligent enough. You can take your call. But what I am saying is don't rush through the day in the morning hours, okay? Morning hours are most productive hours. Just make use of it. Second thing I want to cover here is be aware of whatever content you are consuming on whether social media or whether physically, okay? So my advice will be consume long content in any form. So when I say long content, I'm not saying watch some videos or tutorials or gyan. I'm not saying that. Suppose you like Sachin Tendulkar, okay? Watch Sachin Tendulkar's interview. Suppose you like Bill Gates. Suppose you like anybody, any any famous celebrity, anyone that comes to your mind, right? Try to watch some podcast or some interview of that person to start with, okay? What that will do is that will increase your attention span, okay? So if that interview or that podcast is one hour, your, your, your attention span will be, uh, it will help your attention span, okay? Avoid consuming short content. Short content means short reels, short videos. Little bit fine. I mean, few minutes, 5-10 minutes is fine. But don't 
consume short content for long period of time not good for your brain okay get into the habit of reading long articles consuming long content watching long videos which will give you some information right third thing i want to put here focus on is reading habits okay if you are not into reading habit whatever you like to read start reading okay start reading whatever you like to read just get in the habit of take a book read don't like book read on internet don't like reading on internet take a amazon kindle whatever it is okay get into the habit of reading fourth thing spend time with nature some time you should spend with nature specifically i am getting this point because of work from home kind of scenario right get out of your home maybe um, if there is a park nearby or if there is some sunlight if there is some some way to interact with the nature that will help you next point i want to cover here is just make a note of your eating patterns okay all these things i am telling from my personal experience guys very basic basic things okay just keep an eye on what are you eating let me ask you a simple question how many times after eating pizza you feel like you you want to conquer the world or after eating pizza you are like where is the bed i am going to sleep just notice how pizza what pizza does to the system i am not saying don't eat pizza i am saying be aware of what you are eating on a regular basis that impacts your body's performance and mind's performance okay so just these four five things will help you building that learning muscle okay that will help you in getting proper sleep getting proper rest your mind will work well your body will work well and you will have time to invest on learning now this is the preparatory step let's go to the next step next step i am telling here is how do you filter the content in the ocean of contents first thing look for the authority authority means if you search data science ai and machine learning right uh, somebody who is creating video on multi level marketing is also creating content on data science somebody who is selling you know washing machines and refrigerators they are also creating content on what is data science so first filter should be what is the authority of the person who is teaching me data science ai and ml okay not on youtube on every platform i am saying first thing authority second thing when when this content was created for example if i if i go today and create a content which was relevant in 2015 doesn't make a sense right see when the content was created check the reviews okay authority date reviews and then you also check uh, where from all these thing i mean in what different platforms this content is distributed is it heavily marketed or not some of the product is you know it comes before your eyes because it's heavily marketed so see if it is heavily marketed these are the filters that you need to put to select the right product i wish i have shortlisted some more for example in which formats it is there suppose you do not want to um, somebody might be interested in reading let's say article somebody might be interested in going through a video somebody might be interested in listening to audio what is the content that you want to consume right put these kind of filters and then shortlist shortlist the content that you want to consume okay so now we have done two things we have done the preparatory step build our learning muscle we have shortlisted what content we want to consume or where from we want to learn okay so it may also happen that you may not like my data science and ai videos you may like somebody else's data science and ai videos or vice versa you don't understand from some other channel you understand from unfold data science okay so that factor also will come when you are shortlisting the content okay now once we know this is what we need to learn how do you go about learning so guys i'll tell you about myself i i i like to keep giving exams i like to keep giving interviews i like to that that is something that is you know my area of interest you know sharing knowledge evaluation um, evaluating others getting myself evaluated so how do i go about it how do i prepare a learning plan so first of all it has to be a time bound plan okay so the course which is there on unfold data science when i downloaded the report right what i can see is there are very active students and there are students who just purchase the course and they are not doing anything because in their mind target is not time bound it has to be a time bound target please try to understand this 
फॉर एग्जाम्पल लेट से यू आर प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर ए डब्ल्यू एस एम एल स्पेशलिटी और यू आर प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर सम सर्टिफिकेशन ओके देर हैज़ टू बी ए टाइम वॉन्ट प्लानिंग फॉर एग्जाम्पल दिस इज थर्टी फर्स्ट जनवरी सो बाई फिफ्टीन फैब आई विल रीच हीयर बाई लेट से थर्टी एथ फैब आई विल रीच हीयर टाइम बाउंड एंड मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट मोस्ट क्रिटिकल एस्पेक्ट डिफाइन वट इज द डिफिनेशन ऑफ डन फॉर यू आई एम यूजिंग ए कॉर्पोरेट टर्मिनोलॉजी नोन एज डिफिनेशन ऑफ डन ओके डिफाइन योर डिफिनेशन ऑफ डन सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ आई से दैट आई एम गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट ट्रांसफॉर्मर्स सो वट इज माई डिफिनेशन ऑफ डन फॉर ट्रांसफॉर्मर्स डिफिनेशन ऑफ डन कैन बी लेट मी गिव यू सम एग्जाम्पल्स फर्स्ट I will go and write a very nice transformer article on medium. Second, I will create a YouTube video on transformers. Third, I will go and do a project in transformers, at least a mini project. Fourth, I will go and um, you know whoever has asked transformer questions on Quora, I will go and give the answers to them. Fifth, I should be able to use transformer in my existing project. So what I am saying here is. Um, define what is your definition of done and put a time on target on that once you reach there that's all end of story okay so it has to be in three ways i mean three levels if your mind and body is not ready to consume anything new right you will feel tired okay you can't be tired when you are learning something new prepare your mind and body for that filter the right content and third keep it time bound and define what is definition of done for you and then move to the next thing i am telling you this guys because i face the time shortage daily okay and if you are in a full time job and if you are doing things like what i am doing content creation and all you will feel time you know time shortage always so you have to find you have to find out ways of getting grasping things faster so i thought of sharing some of my experiences If you like this kind of videos guys please give me a thumbs up and let me know through comment I'll see you all in the next video let me know what you will do out of whatever i discussed in the comments see you all in the next video wherever you are stay safe and take care